So respect is one of the main foundations on which a woman is attracted to you. It's not the only one, but it's one of the main ones. Now, how does walking away have to do with any of this? I'll let you know that in just a second. Just make sure you stay tuned and you watch until the very end to really grasp the rest of this video. What's going on guys? My name is Assam from DopeLifeCoaching.com and today I'm going to be talking about the power of walking away from a woman to gain respect and attraction. Now, if it's your first time on this channel, man, make sure you do yourself a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And also, if you want consistent updates on similar content just like this, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon so you don't miss a single thing when it's uploaded. Now, first and foremost, man, I don't want you just to walk away just for the sake of walking away and playing a game just to get her back. That's just weird. But here's the important part. If a woman disrespects you in any way, you have to walk away. If she does any of the following or a variation of the following, it's time to walk away. If she gives you an ultimatum and basically tells you, if you don't do this, I'm leaving you, walk away. If she no longer initiates contact, you walk away. If you try to make plans with her and she says she's busy without suggesting an alternative date, you walk away. If she says something disrespectful or she does something disrespectful, you walk away. Now, here's exactly why you walk away from a woman in those instances or a variation of them. Number one, it's because you have to respect yourself. You're basically, when you're walking away, you're telling yourself and you're telling the universe that this isn't serving me, so I'm going to cut it out out of my life. I'm going to cut it out because it's not what I want. It's not going to take me to where I want to go or where I need to be now. And when you do that, you show that you respect yourself and hence you get the woman to respect you. That's reason number one. Reason number two, if you don't respect yourself, she will never respect you. And if she never respects you, she's not going to be attracted to you. That's the whole point of walking away and the power of walking away to restore and to gain that respect and attraction from her because she has to respect you in order for her to be attracted to you. Just like I said in one of my previous videos about the difference between a scarcity mindset and an abundance mindset. If you have a scarcity mindset, you are thinking in terms of lack and limitation. You're thinking in terms of pedestalizing a woman who's showing you interest once in a blue moon, so you're trying to do everything in your power not to lose her. That's a scarcity mindset, dude. I want you to eliminate that mindset entirely if that's what you have right now. As opposed to an abundance mindset that thinks in terms of the limitless. It thinks that there are endless women out there who would be attracted to you. At the end of the day, man, I don't care who you are, if you're Brad Pitt or whatever, not every single woman will ever be attracted to you. It's impossible to attract every single woman. However, it's possible to have the mindset that every single woman is attracted to you because when you have that mindset, you carry yourself in such a different way and you respect yourself much more and hence, women will respect you more. Now, you might actually ask, coach, how do I know if I respect myself or not? Now, I can't answer that question for you, but I can guide you to the answer. Here are the questions I can ask you. What do you allow into your life? Do you let people walk all over you? Do you strive to your greatest potential and what you could really accomplish? Do you talk enthusiastically? Do you speak with confidence? What do you tolerate? Do you have a positive or a negative self-image? Are you humble or are you just a cocky jerk? Now, you should be able to answer these questions for yourself. And dude, I don't want you thinking of this as a type of war between men and women that many of these dating coaches conceptualize. They make it seem that women are the enemy and we're not the enemy, we're the good guys, so we have to kind of get back at them and take whatever we can from them. No, that's a really bad mentality. That's a loser's mindset. I want you to be humble, be a man of integrity, be a man of goals, be a kind person, don't just be a jerk for the sake of it, be humble, be generous, but be firm. Do not let people walk all over you. Be a man of high value. Be a man that is goal-oriented, not relationship-oriented. Have fun, be playful, joke around, enjoy your time. Make the girls who you go out with or the girl you go out with associate you with good emotions. That's awesome, women love that. But do not dare let her 
disrespects you because if she does, guess what? It's time to let her go and it's time to cut her off. And when you do that, you're basically communicating to yourself and to the universe that you are a man of high value because you're not willing to accept something that's not going to serve you either now or in the long run. The bottom line is women do not respect men who don't respect themselves. And that's just the bottom line. And also, I can't determine what's respectful versus what's disrespectful for you as opposed to me. You have to determine these things, dude. You have to determine them for yourself. If a woman disrespects you by your standards, you're the one who has to determine if it's disrespectful or not, not me. But you get the point. So that pretty much covers the video, guys. The power of walking away to regain and restore respect and attraction from a woman. If you like the video, make sure you show your support by hitting that thumbs up button. And also, if you want consistent updates on similar content, do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon so you don't miss a single video when it's released. Go to my website for free consultations, www.dopelifecoaching.com. Take advantage of the free consultations, man, because they're not going to last forever. And also, it will be helpful if you comment down in the comment section below. I love the comments a lot, and I can also make videos on them to be able to help you more. So that's pretty much it, man. Go out there, have that respect that you want for yourself, conquer the world, be a man of high value, be humble, be goal-oriented, be a good person, but at the same time, be firm, but don't let any woman disrespect you. You got this, bro. I'm Audi. Peace.